today on The Kitchen. We'll satisfy your big game growl with our mortadella monster sandwich. We're going to build a wall on the sandwich. This is going to be pinned out. Pass forward the trendiest game day snacks. Oh, my God. <laughs> I am so into this. Party hardy with our game day chili. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. And score a touchdown with a caramel apple pear pie. Pie time, you guys. <laughs> The game is playing, people are waiting on the commercials, and it's all about the food. So we are here to bring you the food. Did you guys know that this is the second highest day of consumption of food in the United States? Second highest. I don't doubt that it. That makes sense. You know what number one is. Thanksgiving. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Thanksgiving. I feel like this is the Thanksgiving <laughs> junk food. It is. You know? <laughs> and it's really like my favorite day of the whole winter. I would have to agree with that. You know, it's kind of like people come out of hibernation, you have a party at your house, and you got to lay out the spread. We're going to do that for you today. We've got some also cool party tips. Friends with Food Network Magazine. Perfect for the moment, okay? Perfect oh. for game day parties. Oh. And I want to share them with you. And something I want you guys to kind of give me a kitchen, a kitchen survey, if you okay. will. Tell me if it's a touchdown or a fumble. Oh, okay. okay. These are things that you're going to yes. see quite possibly very soon at your oh. big game day oh. party. Oh my. The first good. trend is the mashup. So two great things combined together. This is cornbread filled with Velveeta. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, uh, the mashup. I like that. How no, did I works. never think of this? Yeah. Touchdown or fumble? Touchdown? No. Oh, score. Yeah? Score. I mean, touchdown. cheese, butter, it's the same thing, right? Oh, <laughs> so, okay, so we've got a touchdown. Oh, you want to try that, Jeff? Oh, my God. <laughs> I am so into this. Okay. That's really good. That's good. Oh. Very good. Number two. I need a beer. Mm. This is buffalo cauliflower. Oh, I'm into that already. I know. Why? What that, because what meat is like going to be replaced. Everyone's doing meatless Monday. And so cauliflower, lots of crunch. So you're getting the texture there. It's going to fill you up. And why? Because everyone always has like buffalo wings. So why not buffalo cauliflower? Touchdown or fumble? I think it's I good, too. It. I mean, I guess it's going to be up in there. I think it's a fumble. Yeah. I don't like the color. Not even a like... safety? You oh, know what? No. I love it. You know what? I would make the cauliflower and put the sauce on the side and allow people to dip. Just, I just don't get the color. It looks where's like, the, um, where's the popcorn? Where's I think that's awesome. I think it's I awesome. Love no. I love buffalo is... sauce, and I feel good about eating this. Like, right. I don't it's, feel it's like I'm doing something bad. Yeah, someone doesn't want to eat meat at game day, it's like, I want that fried, though. <laughs> you, oh, well, if it's fried, I mean, of course. You know what I mean? And I then, mean, why, why so, the bush? I don't think it needs to be well, fried. You can fry the bush. Perfect. <laughs> the last trend I want to show you guys. She's yeah. I really love Food Network Magazine because every month, if you get it, right in the center, they've got this booklet that pulls out with 50 of something, all right? This month, it's... 50 different types of flavored popcorn. Oh, uh, nice. Love that. Right. So, this is perfect for the big game day party. And so, my question is do you like it regular, just butter, salt, like you go to the movie theater? Or are you into just adding things? Is that a touchdown or a fumble? I think it's a touchdown, completely. I think it's a touchdown. My son loves bacon popcorn. They actually have it out on the market these days, and we're obsessed with it. Bacon, bacon popcorn. Bacon popcorn. Obsessed with it. Yeah. I have for you know, a yes. flavored popcorn, so you know I'm into it. I love this trick for making popcorn. I use my paper grocery bags from the store. It's a great way to repurpose them. I just put the kernels right in it and kind of roll it down just a little, and I stick it in the microwave for about three or four minutes. Oh, that's and